Welcome to my kitchen. I am Kathy Cooks. I am so glad you're here to see what I did with what I have in my pantry. Now, when you see the videos of my pantry, let me just tell you, this is years of me stocking my pantry and learning how to cook from my pantry. So don't get overwhelmed when I show you or open a closet door, open the freezer, open the fridge you'll get there or you'll just get partially there. It matters what you want. The purpose of this channel is to let you see how easy it can be if you stock your pantry, how you can put delicious meals together quick. So let me show you what's in my pantry today. Okay, what I found in my pantry today as my inspiration were tostada shells. Now these tostada shells I had used maybe a month ago and they just don't go bad. So I thought, well, okay, it's time to use them up. Pulled them out. What am I going to do with them? Am I going to be boring and just have black bean tostadas like I probably had the time before? No, I do not repeat meals often. It may be every three, four months we have the same meal. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's true. I'm trying to eat a little bit more protein. So I went through the freezer and what did I find? And again, my freezer's full and you know what? That's my second freezer. So I have two refrigerators, one in the kitchen and one in the garage. And I like keeping lots of food in the house. The more I have, the more creative I can be. I found salmon patties from Costco and I thought, wait a minute, why can't I just have a really quick fish taco, fish tostada? And you know what else I had on hand to make this possible? Shredded cabbage. When I bought the shredded cabbage, did I think I'm gonna make fish tacos? No, I was thinking cruciferous vegetables are good for me. They help fight cancer cells in your body. I'm going to get some cabbage and then figure out what to do with it. First thing I did was cook off my salmon patties. Now this was the first time I bought that big thing of salmon patties. The first time I made them, I fried them on the stove. This time I decided I was gonna try my air fryer out in the garage and it worked perfectly. I cooked them at 400 in the air fryer for just about 10 minutes froze from frozen solid. Now I like my salmon medium rare to medium. I do not like it where it's 100% cooked all the way through and light pink. And man, it was so juicy from the air fryer. Next thing I had to do was make my Mexican white limey cream. Now, normally you use sour cream for this, but I didn't have any sour cream. So what am I supposed to do? Now I could have just did like salsa, something like that, but I always have, or usually have Greek yogurt. I used that, they're very similar. So you just make up a really easy cream, quarter cup or half cup of the sour cream or your substitute, and then about a half lime, some salt, and then you wanna add a little bit of garlic. Now you can put um, crushed garlic in there. I didn't have any at the time, so I had garlic powder. Sometimes, and like I did with this one, I put in a little cilantro and a little green onion in there just to get some good flavor. This can be made way in advance and then all those flavors were meld, but I did not make it in advance. This was a quick spur of the moment meal. So when you have those two done, this is how easy this meal is. Put your tostada down, then you get your cabbage, your meat, your white cream. If you want extra lime, you sprinkle that on top and you eat it. Now, since it was in tostada form and not taco form, use either. You know, eating it flat, it broke apart. I ended up being like, screw it. I am just crumbling it all up and eating it as a salad. It was amazing. Oh, bon my dog Bonesy's over there just uh, settling in. Oh, well, enough about Bonesy. Unless you wanna see her. Do you wanna see Bonesy? Come here, Bonesy. Come here. Come on, old girl. Come on, old gal. Come here. Come here. Now, my vet told me I should put her in a video. So, here she is. Here's my old gal. Yeah, she turns 10 in a month. That's my girl, huh? That's Bonesy girl. We named her Bonesy because she was skin and bones when we found her. But she isn't anymore. She's my good girl. Okay, go lay back down. Go lay back down. And she's very obedient. So that was it, guys. That was the meal. 
That's all you have to do to get something good and nutritious on the table. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe below, and then click that bell and it'll ding, it'll go zzz, like that on your screen. And then you will start getting notifications to when I post my videos. Thank you so much.